everyone. I am coming to you from a new state, new city, new house, new everything. <laughs> um, we've made it to Oregon and we're so excited. We've actually been here for a little over a week, but we couldn't move into our house until yesterday. We closed on our house yesterday, which was really exciting. And yeah, it was a big empty box right now. So we don't have anything moved. So we closed last night and had a mattress delivered um, so that we could have somewhere to sleep. So we slept on our guest room mattress that we had delivered last night. And then all of our stuff got delivered today, this morning actually. So it's all in the U-Pack outside, which is great. And today and the next few days are gonna be full just unpacking and setting up. It's gonna be a while till it's a fully set up house, obviously. I didn't wanna like, well, one, I didn't want to order everything till we were in here just to see things and feel sizes and stuff. And two, some of our furniture deliveries take a long time. So bear with us, but we'll at least have the stuff from our old house in here, which will make it pretty livable, which is exciting. So anyway, here we are. This is our nice living room, nice and big. And yeah, we're just really excited to be here. I'll insert some clips from yesterday. I can do, I have some clips from like a walkthrough last week when it was almost done um, to do kind of like an empty house tour because there's already like junk and stuff that we've moved into here now. And also clips from yesterday when Suki got to see the house for the first time. It was so cute. Oh, I think she wants to go inside. Um, it was so cute. She was like rolling around on all the carpet and loving it. So here's our little side yard. Let's see out. Okay, go body. Our plan is to eventually put grass um, out here. We have a beautiful view of all the trees. I mean, you really can't ask for a cooler skyline. And then yeah, this is our little side yard. So <laughs> that's our moving truck with all of our stuff. And we're hoping to make this all grass and it's also snow. I can't, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's snowing a little bit today. Good girl. And it's pretty cold outside, but anyway, we'll probably do a little sitting area here. I'll wait to, I'll put in the clips. I'll put in the clips now of the house so you have some context and then uh, we'll pick up from there. What do you think, Lou? Come on, let's go look. <laughs> Carpet. All right, let's keep exploring. Let's keep looking. Come on. What else do we have? Kitchen? Okay. Check upstairs. Come on. Look at her. She's leading the way. Yes. Oh, come on. Woohoo. Yes. New carpet. This room. <laughs> Suki. Oh God. Come on, that room. Let's roll around in this one. <laughs> yes. You're silly. You're silly. What else do we want to go? Oh. Is it up to snuff? Check out this room. One more room to, to look at. One more room. Oh, now your fur is everywhere. Safe. Safe to live. We did it. It's fun. I have all new filming locations now. So I never bought like a tripod or anything. So I just try to set my camera up wherever. 
Um, but yeah, so nice big kitchen, which I'm really excited about. I don't know what to do with all the storage. Like we're coming from an 800 square foot house to like a 2100 square foot house. So um, we've got like a walk-in pantry. I've got so many kitchen cabinets. I've got an island. Like I just don't know what to do. I'm sure eventually it'll fill. Um, but right now I'm like, oh my God, like, what are we gonna, it's so much storage. It's like night and day difference from what we're coming from. So that's really fun. But yeah, I took the day off work today and tomorrow. So today's Thursday. I took off Thursday, Friday to just move and settle in. So we don't have Wi-Fi or anything yet. Garrett's working upstairs on his hotspot for the next couple of days. Um, so I need him to do certain things. Like, of course, our, our UPAC trailer has like all the big furniture and mattress and everything up at the front and then all the boxes are behind it. <laughs> so I need Garrett, like it's a two person job obviously to carry the furniture out and into the house. So I need him to do that with me. So he has a ton of meetings today. So I'm just gonna try to do as much progress as I can do without him. And when he can help, he can help, but otherwise, so we've got a bunch of furniture delivery. I don't know if I already said this, cut it if I did, but we've got our washer dryer coming today. We've got our fridge coming today. We've got our kitchen table coming today. Wi-Fi coming tomorrow. I don't know, just tons of stuff to coordinate, but um, we actually had our dining room chairs delivered today. So I think what I'm gonna do is put those together because the assembly is required for them. And um, I can, that's something I can do on my own without Garrett. So I think I'm gonna do that now. We did some headboard um, assembly yesterday. Oh, it's snowing so good, Alicia. I don't know if it's really coming through, but it's pretty snowy out there. Okay, yeah, I think you can definitely see. I feel like snow was not on the forecast today, <laughs> but it's, it's blowing, so let me close. Let me close our door. For now, we're working with a big empty house, so we're trying to figure out what size TV we want, all that stuff. But anyway, you're, you'll see, you'll see a ton of the house as we're living in it, as we move everything in, and I'll have inserted clips of you know a tour of the house. So for now, I'm just gonna get started because I've been blabbering on full transparency. This is my second time filming this because I filmed the first one in slow motion on accident. There's a button on this camera that like, when I do that, I'm so pissed. Uh-oh, Suki. Oh, oh, we love our carpet and our ball. Yes, yeah, whip it around. Oh, you're so tough. <laughs> get it, come on. <laughs> Go get it. Go get it, it's fine. We love the carpet, it's so fun. It's so fun. This is our master, so it has really pretty views of obviously all the trees, which we love. So this is our headboard. It's this like white kind of boucle material. So it looks really nice, really cozy, but we need a replacement wing because the screws on this one don't work, so. That's a bummer, but it'll fit exactly in between here, which is nice because our other bed was too wide, which is why we got a new one, because um, I didn't want to cover the windows. So this will fit exactly in between, and then we'll obviously have two nightstands. And I think we'll have like a sideboard thing that's going to be delivered soon, TV, stuff like that. So that's the plan, but we're having fun. We're having so much fun. We love the carpet. We need to get her rugs ASAP. We have we got we have rugs we we brought our rugs from our other house even though they're not the right size for this house but we're like we'll just bring them in the meantime because i haven't even ordered rugs yet um so we'll lay them out so at least she has some rugs because she just like doesn't like the wood floor she just like prefers to be on rugs or carpet so anyway we'll lay those out in the meantime so like you know bear with us obviously the house won't look the way it should for a while but it will be livable and cozy and We'll continue to upgrade it as we order all of our furniture and stuff. We are spending an arm and a leg <laughs> furnishing this house. We knew we would, like we were mentally prepared and budgeted for it, but like, wow, it's exhausting. Like I just get fatigued with like 
spending, spending, spending. I'm like, but you know, it's a house. We need to have it like set up right. And it's like, if you're going to spend all this money and buy this new nice house, you might as well furnish it like the way you want. So we've got a lot already ordered, but still have <laughs> She's just having the time of her life. Fun. She loves, yeah, she's gonna be bummed when all the furniture comes because she loves all the empty space. You're crazy. Okay, gonna do the dining room chairs now. Okay, first chair assembled. I actually got these chairs from Amazon um, and they were like 700 something bucks for six chairs. They're really nice. It's like a nice linen. We wanted a really sturdy kitchen chair. And then the arms are this nice leather. They're really comfy. I've been assembling the way, but I think they look really good. I'm really excited about them. Um, but we just wanted it like very supportive to the back. Like no, I hate when there's gaps in lumbar support on like your chairs that you're sitting in all the time. So. Nice supportive chair. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. So here she is. Now I have somewhere to sit. We've built one for Garrett and he's sitting upstairs in it. And now I built the second one. So now I have somewhere to sit. Four more. I need, I'm making like very slow time on this chair. So, but now that I know how to do it, I feel like I can go faster, but four more to go. Okay, tables here. I've got three chairs assembled, one upstairs, so four total, two more to go. My hands are like throbbing, but it's okay. But look how good the table looks. They just came and assembled it. I love it. I'm so excited. So we're making progress getting the chairs ready, but I think it all looks really good together. And what a dream when they actually assemble it. For, for you. Yeah, here, here she is in all her glory. Obviously we need a bigger rug because they say you want the rug big enough so your chairs can pull out and stay on the rug. This is just what we have currently. I think it's a seven by nine and I think we either want, I think eight by 10 would fit in the room better but I think nine by 12 would fit the table and chairs better. So we'll see what we end up doing but really nice. I love the detail. There's a nice like iron through the middle and it's all solid wood and great. So very exciting. Chairs are looking good too. I think, I think the chairs look good with it. So no progress over here. Lots of progress over here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, fridge is in. So good and sleek. I'm really excited to have a water. No more Brita filters. And it's honestly like a really nice fridge. It keeps beeping at me when I open it, but I think it's because it's not cold yet. But love it. And oh, so he wants to go out. Go go outside. He's obsessed with the outside. Also got our nice washer and dryer in here, looking good. Running the first load of some of our bedding so that we can have a bed set up tonight. So, very exciting to get this usable. I can't get her set up, you guys. Garrett's panicking. I'm a little panicked. We cannot get the bar open. Garrett, what, if, what about this thing? Hitting it. This bolt is stuck. <laughs> I can't get her stuff. <laughs> uh, I got this one out and off. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, 
well, we broke the whole thing, but at least we'll be able to get our stuff. Okay, wait, be careful, be careful, be careful. It's gonna snap on that side. Oh my God, we were, we were feeling a little bit panicked for a second. Okay. Okay, we've made a lot of progress today. We are fully, our truck is fully unloaded, unpacked, and everything's just in our garage now, and then we're just bringing stuff in. But Garrett just got the TV. I'm cooking dinner. I'm slowly bringing out the kitchen stuff, but my mom just texted me to check your front door. Mom, if you're watching, this is so exciting. And I think it's a plant. It says this side up. What else does it say? It says something. Yeah, open this box. Your new live plant is inside. My first plant. I'm so excited. Let's see what it is. and healthy. I gotta look up what kind it is. It'll be our current centerpiece until we figure out where we want it. Cute! Thanks mom and dad, so thoughtful. All right, TV has been installed and the film is coming off. The most satisfying. Oh, why is the sticker under the film? So annoying. But it's a sleek mountain. Looking nice and sleek. He just said we're not doing that. I mean, it's pretty. So let people on the vlog know that we're gonna we're gonna fix it. I don't know. It's pretty flat. Yeah, it's pretty pretty good. Nice. We are debating between a seventy-five and a sixty-five. We. And, or 77 and 65. We ended up going with 65, and I think that was the right move. I think it would have dominated the room out of 77, but I'm happy, Lou. Happy weekend. We are headed out on a little hike today. A nice little break from all the packing because, I don't know, we just need to be outside. So we're heading to do Tumalo Falls is the hike name. And all the snow up there. Yeah, it's so pretty. I'll show you guys our view. Our drive is sickening right now. But yeah, uh, so I'll take you on the hike. It's supposed to be kind of a classic one for um, the area. So I think you can do a shorter one or you can do a loop. I think we're going to try to do the loop, which is about seven miles. Watch out for the biker. Um, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to try to do the longer one. And it's a really beautiful day. And then we'll get back to packing or unpacking and moving in. There's still a lot of snow on the ground too. It's crazy. We're in the middle of the hike. We actually had to park like two and a half miles away from the trailhead but I think they just have it closed for the winter, but this is what the road looks like, so it's still very, very beautiful. So we're hiking to the falls. I think they're close to the start of the trailhead, so we're wishing we had boots, but they're packed away somewhere in a box. I think in about a week, we'll have most of our stuff unpacked and we can find our boots, but for now we're in tennis, but you know what, it's fine. We're surviving. But we were just saying, I can't believe we live here. Like, it just feels like a vacation. Like, like it's so weird. I, I, it's so surreal that we live here. We're just, every, every minute we're like, can you believe we live here? <laughs> so, this is really cool. 
Really pretty. <laughs> Love it. Sunday and we're going skiing because it's a beautiful day. We unpacked enough to find all of our ski gear and we figure there's, I don't know how many more days there's going to be. I think at least another month of skiing, maybe a month and a half, but. Well, the spring pass was through May 26, but. Oh yeah, so maybe two so months, we'll but we, on, but yeah, slash we're so busy in May, so as far as open weekends so we found all of our stuff it was all buried in different places but we found it and we're going skiing today so i'm really excited it's probably going to be pretty crowded because it's spring break it's easter it's a beautiful day it's like 32 and sunny so i'm sure the mountain will be packed but i figured we'll go for it anyway so it's gonna be fun here we thought there was going to be traffic or lines or something but we pulled right in no wait so ready to go ready do a walk up and see up. if we can get a pass oh yeah let's go get our pass all right get it out it's a beautiful day and we're doing great we're waiting for the summit to open it's not open yet but we're just getting it here smile And we're going to the Cloud Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. 